Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight I have another Let's Build video for you. Uh, this time it's the Isaurian Plasma Cannon for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares uh, by the company Warlord Games and written by Rick Priestley. Uh, so uh, the Isaurians is a faction uh, in the Antares that's really awesome. Uh, it's a very biomechanical uh, faction and it's really cool and I'm here to show this to you and build it for you today. So let's crack it open. Let's see what the kit looks like. Looks like we got with normal bases with a flight stand and of course spotter drone that comes with this kit. Just like all the kits, they all have their spotters, their spotter drones. So we got a base. Looks like we got some heads and the cannon maybe. We got some figures that all need heads. Yep. Awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Very awesome. That's the cannon there. This here is another uh, biomechanical gentleman. He's holding a big, huge piece there. Looks like a cannonball of some kind. Uh, and then you got your spotter drone right there. The Asaurian spotter drone. Looks like an all-seeing eye. <laughs> so, get a closer look at these. This is your base. This is your main gun. I'm assuming that's going to go in here, which is awesome. And then I'll figure out what this is. Looks like that's a extra round of some, yeah, that's an extra round of some kind because he's holding that in his hand, I believe. <clears throat> well, I'll see you in the video and afterwards I'll show you guys what it is. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tools that I normally use to build uh, these kits. And then I'm going to build it before your eyes. And I'll be back in a sec to show you what it looks like and tell you what troubles I have. So uh, back in a sec.
All right, there you have it. There's the Isaurian Plasma Cannon. And just like I had mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video, I was going to find out what this piece was. And this is actually <laughs> the cartridge uh, that he pulls out of here, puts in his hand, and reloads in the machine into the biomechanical mach machine. Um, but he's pretty cool looking dude, is he not? <laughs> uh, I love the look of the Isaurians, these biomechanical uh, creatures. Um, Mine are going to be winter saurians, so they're going to actually be white. Uh, they're going to have a white camouflage. Probably not camouflage, but just they're going to be painted in a white paint scheme. So they're going to look very different than... They're actually going to look opposite of what the uh, studio art. Um, theirs are all in uh, like a dark brown and black biomechanical, which works for sure. But uh, I was fighting with myself whether or not to do it green or white. And I decided on white because I love a challenge. So like these vents here that uh, glow orange normally, I believe it will, uh, they have them glow in orange and stuff like that. Uh, I'll be using a different color. Uh, well, I'll be using the same color, but in a, in a different style of glow, um, which uh, I will do a video on, on how I do that. Uh, but uh, they'll be orange as well. So it'll be white and orange. So really nice kit. Uh, just remember when you're putting this base on or this this gun or this weapon on if you want it to be like the studios with the paws they look like little paws uh, facing out front um, they have the gun in between the paws so um, that's how you know there then of course you got the helmet open uh, that is obviously going to be the uh, commander they all have big arms so they'll be able to reload for the most part he's the uh Looks like he's on the phone <laughs> or on his comm. Uh, so it's a three-man unit with a uh, plasma cannon. Um, <clears throat> I believe, I don't, I don't know, they might have plasma fade. I'm not sure, but uh, for the most part, any of these plasma cannons, I believe the gun itself has plasma fade where you roll a 10 and and uh, nothing happens because the plasma fades out. But, uh, but uh, yeah, and you have a spotter drone. Uh, wasn't too anything too complicated. Just a few th a few uh, things to remember as to I would glue the miniature to the base if you like painting them that way before you glue their heads on. It makes it a heck of a lot easier. Um, <clears throat> also, in between the paws, not right up on the paw. I guess you could if you really wanted to, but that's how the studio art has it. Uh, and the spotter drone, um, obviously he's on the flight stand. Uh, like this, uh, I always use a uh, uh, Freydex uh, 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 glue accelerator uh, to glue these on because I would be sitting here forever and ever and days and days waiting on the glue to stick to the flight stand. So that's a good tip if you guys are curious as how I do that. Uh, I use uh, the Instaset like I've had before. So... Uh, <clears throat> Anyhow, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you haven't done so, please go over and join my Facebook group. It's called Rocky's War Room Group. It's pretty simple. You just uh, click to join. We accept you, and you're welcome to the family. You can post pictures of anything you want, painting, what you're painting, what you're currently working on, your blog, uh, some YouTube videos that you've done of, uh, of, of painting Antares models. I love other people's painted Antares stuff. It's really, really awesome. And uh, that's it. And remember, there'll be pictures of this, still pictures after uh, I'm done talking. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Spread the word. I'd really appreciate that. Leave me some comments, like this video, and last but not least, from me to you. Ta-ta! And I will catch you in my next video.